good morning students so we saw about the plants the terrestrial plants plants that grow on land we talked about the plants in the deserts and mountains and hills how they are uh, different how they are adapted okay to survive in those environment now let's move on to the next that is plains okay plains are the flat regions on the earth now the trees which grow in the flat regions the plains okay they are very uh, adapted to live in cold and hot your climate as well for example here in vadodara okay we are in a plain region so the trees which are growing here they can survive the cold of the winter as well as they can survive the heat of the summer season isn't it and they get rains in few months of the year so these uh, trees are what we see around us okay the trees of the plains are what we have here now such trees have plenty of branches and plenty of leaves okay why because the sunlight is available isn't it so they grow bigger and they are uh, very good in doing photosynthesis also because of heat they lose water also isn't it the leaves are flat here so there are plenty of leaves to prepare the food and there are many branches they grow very bushy and a bahut bade phele hue plants we see in our plain regions now some trees are such that in uh, when winter starts okay they shed their leaves okay what they do is they shed their leaves in the autumn season which grow back again during spring so just before the winter okay that is autumn season what happens is these trees will shed their leaves pure patte jhad jayenge okay and then garmi se pehle spring season in that season these leaves start growing back again so such type of trees if you observe around you there must be some tree okay so if you observe that there is some tree which is shedding its leaf all together in the autumn season and growing it back again in the spring season these plants or these trees are called as deciduous trees what are they called deciduous okay these are called deciduous trees now some trees are such that they do not shed their leaves ever kabhi uske patte girte nahi hain so such trees ki jiske patte kabhi nahi girte hain but usme naye naye patte aate rehte hain okay naye patte aate hi rahenge aisa nahi hai ki in only one season they will shed their leaves all the year around they are growing new leaves shedding uh, their old leaves so such trees are called as evergreen why evergreen kyunki ye hamesha hare bhare dikhte hain okay they are always green evergreen means all the year round when you see these trees they are green so they are evergreen trees they do not shed their leaves all together ek ek do do karke roz girte hain roz naye patte aate hain but in deciduous once in the year they shed their leaves or spring season mein wapas pure ped mein nahi patte aate hain okay so those are deciduous and evergreen trees okay these trees are in the plain regions getting me now let's talk about the marshy areas now marshy areas are the plants which are growing in puddles okay वहाँ की सॉइल में बहुत सारा पानी होगा दोज एरियाज आर कॉल मार्शी एरियाज सो वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट वाटर ओके आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सॉइल विथ अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर है ना किचन सो दोज एरियाज वेयर इट इज मार्शी इट इज हैविंग लॉट ऑफ वाटर विथ सॉइल सो वॉट यू कैन से किचन में उगने वाले और किचन में ही रहने वाले ऑल द ईयर अराउंड those trees are of marshy areas 
they are also called as mangroves okay so if you have heard about west bengal west bengal means sundarban okay that is a marshy area of india to waha pe bahut sara pani hota hai all the year around aur kichad hota hai pura so in that there are densely populated trees kyunki water acha hai so those trees there have adapted well for those conditions so you see a lot of trees on those mangroves okay so the marshy areas are places that have wet clay and sticky soil with water covering their surface as i told you bahut sara pani hota hai the plants growing in such areas develop roots that emerge out from the surface of the marsh now i i told you yesterday agar bahut zyada pani dalenge to roots they will start rotting sadne lag jate hain so when there is too much water so obviously waha ke roots bhi sadne lagenge so what they have done is their roots come out of the marsh okay they come out from that uh places these roots helps the plant to breathe and these roots help the plant to breathe hence they are called breathing roots and that is why since the roots here are helping in breathing the roots are called breathing roots most of the plants that grow in marshy areas are called mangroves as i told you so these plants are called as mangroves some examples are avicennia and rhizophora okay these are two examples given for these type of plants so we saw about plains and marshy areas okay